All right, I'm about to wrap out the hot one, son. So give me the microphone and let me have some fun. Penn and Teller on the throne saying, yo, just school us. Up at the Rio, Wayne Hoffman, try to fool us. I've been known to freestyle, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I started doing magic as a, as a child, and then after I started studying human behavior, psychology, I realized I could get away from props and entertain people just with their minds. There's a very fine line with mentalists. I once did a show, and halfway through the show, I saw a girl reading verses of the Bible because she thought that I was in the league with the devil. <laughs> I don't claim to have supernatural powers, but people believe it. was one Snoop Dogg's neighbor. So welcome the real Dizzle for Shizzle, Wayne Hoffman. Welcome. Quick question before we begin. Do you believe it's possible to predict the future? A lot of people say no, but those same people are going to go and check the weather forecast for this weekend. <laughs> it's nothing more than a prediction of the future that you're relying on. Well, as a kid, there was a group of us at school that believed it was possible. So I decided to start a club. I started a club called the Mind Candy Club for those of us that believed. And here tonight, right, in the Rio, at, in Las Vegas, we are going to induct a new member into my club, and it's gonna be one of you. So if you have a, let's, you know what, let's get one of the locals. Those people are crazy in Vegas. If you're a local and you have your driver's license with you, uh, we want a guy with a driver's license. So if that's you and you wanna volunteer, just raise your hand. And in fact, I'm gonna let Mr. Penn Gillette select who amongst the audience we're gonna induct tonight. Yeah, I don't know you with, with, the, with the glasses and the blue shirt right there. How about you? Let's induct you. Welcome. Come on up here. Welcome to the party. Hey, come on over here. Uh, now, did you have any clue that you would be up here tonight? No idea. I could tell by the look on your face when uh, Penn picked you. Now, here's the thing. In this envelope, I have a little welcome letter for you since you're the new member of the club. Uh, do you have your driver's license on you? Yes. Cool. Pull it out. We need it. I'm sure you've done this before at a traffic stop. I, we all have. <laughs> Don't worry, no registration needed. Cool. Yeah, that's you. I knew this was going to happen, and I have proof. Inside of this envelope here is your welcome letter. I printed this on my computer, knowing that this was going to occur. Hang on to that. I want you to unfold it, open it up. Yep, pull it open all the way. Yep, and there's something printed here. Isn't that weird? I can tell by the look on your face already. Turn, turn, turn it this way and read it out loud for everybody. Go ahead. Uh, uh, from Dear the top. Carlos, congratulations on being selected as a new member of Wayne Hoffman's Mind Candy Club. We strive to make sure our members are intelligent, well-mannered, and good-looking. Please present your ID for verification. Welcome to the world of mystery. Yeah, you see, uh, I had a dream that all of this was going to occur. This is yours to keep. I want you to take that with you. Uh, it was the strangest thing. Um, it, it, was, it was extremely weird, the dream. You came in, you had guns blazing, uh, you were shooting everybody underneath the sun. Uh, it, it, I, I don't know why, but uh, you took seven shots. Teller walked in, he couldn't stop talking. It was extremely weird. I'm gonna keep this license, and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit. Give Carlos a round of applause as he makes his way down. Thanks. Teller. Take your hands like this, if you would. Slowly bring them together. Cool, perfect, and stop, because this is a perfect time to start praying. <laughs> right now, we're gonna play a game called Is This Mentalist a Homicidal Suicidal Maniac? Right now, Penn and Teller have to decide whether or not they are about to die. Clearly, by the fact that they're still sitting here, they're choosing to believe that I am not going to kill them. Uh, a prediction which they are making right now. It's kind of life or death. Well, I'll tell you what, tell her if you don't mind, just hang on to that. <laughs> now, would I really kill these people? No, but the funny part is, if that would have gone off, that would have been a definitive way to say that I could fool them. Um, <laughs> building up to the climax. And for it, I need to ask Penn and Teller to join me on stage. I want all of us to climax together. Let's welcome them. Grab a seat. Thanks for coming up. You can keep that as a souvenir. Now, here's the thing. Most... <laughs> Most people keep their driver's license in their wallet. I don't. See, tonight I have something completely different. I have something weird. My membership, my club, 
is an organization uh, that gives out plastic membership cards. We actually keep these uh, with our name and our birthdays as proof that we're members of the club. Inside of my uh, wallet here, pinned up, is a membership card stamped with a name and a date. Now, we always keep the birthdays here. Um, in fact, it's embossed, stamped into the card like you would have a credit card at home. Pen, feel it. Make sure that's actually embossed and stamped into the card. Yeah, well, it is. It is. Now, over here, uh, read the name that's at the top. Carlos is Carlos. The name. Now, we still have Carlos's license. Verify, is his name Carlos Teller? Yes? It's actually there. And underneath is a date stamped into the yes. card. What, what? Uh, what, what is the month? Just the month. Uh, January. January. Was he, he was born in January, wasn't he? Now, what date of the month does it say on the card? 14. Was he born January 14th? Carlos, welcome to the club. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's incredible. And thank you for not blowing them up. I appreciate it. Yeah, the, the explosion was uh, mental, not physical. Because that's highly illegal, I found out. Yes. Being a mentalist, do you prefer that over magic? Um, a lot of guys will say, I'm a magician, I'm a sleight of hand artist, I'm an escape artist, or I'm a mentalist, or um, and choose one. I took the path, I wanted both. I do mentalism, which is psychologically based stuff mainly, and I also do sleight of hand and, and illusion, because it's fun, and I right. love it. And you're also a body language expert? Uh, you know, I, I would never even say I'm an expert at, at, at anything, but little tricks, like for example, you're sitting in what's called the fig leaf position. It's like you're wearing nothing but a fig leaf right now. <laughs> this is a position people go into when they're nervous, like standing next to a mind reader maybe. They go, protection mode! Ah, okay, all right, I'll stop. Now you're, you're just protecting the back. Now that's a... <laughs> all right, Penn Teller. We have this one nailed. Woo! No problem. This is not real dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Wayne, yes. you did something really amazing. You did mentalism without being a sleaze ball. <laughs> you, did, All right. you did mentalism as a really good trick. Thank and you. Uh, it's a really modern version of uh, Card to Wallet. Which is a uh, which is a classic and a wonderful effect, but done where it means something. Done with a membership card instead of a playing card. It's also it's such a new version that you could not have done this trick 30 years ago. Uh, <laughs> True. Yes, and uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a hint. But the... uh, uh, I, I I I'm a little slow, so okay. maybe we can creep around okay. it. Well, what we really liked was we really liked the whole set and all the stuff you had set up here. And Teller, you know, was redecorating his living room and was wondering if he could borrow the tablecloth. Can you take that with us right now? Could you borrow the tablecloth right now? Yes, absolutely you we can. We could. We could take the tablecloth right now? Yes. We'd love to, we'd love to see oh. it there. Okay. All right. If we could take this... Uh, something under the table, perhaps? Tablecloth with us. And there's a the table. All right. Okay. For a party that we're going to have, for you having fooled us. There, because we thought, we thought there was a printer under this table, and there's not, there's nothing there. Thank you so much. All right.